Oh yeah, this is where we left off. Yep, we left off so, right yeah. at the start of the next chapter. Mm-hmm. Hi, so, any guy not and he's not here, so you get the first yep. first real big ass sentence. Jack na nawabashi go to ani ga kashi no ki no shita de matteita. So that means um. So, uh, Jack na nawa bashiko. So not sure what that means. Well, nawa means rope, because nawa bashiko oh, is. Oh yeah, so the rope ladder. Height. The rope ladder. That's right. So we had that last time. Or um oriruto. So that means um he went down the ladder, and any um. Uh, kashi no ki. Kashi no ki. What kashi mean? means evergreen. Um, okay, so evergreen tree underneath. Um. Oh, he waited for Annie underneath the evergreen tree. Um, oh, I think Annie waited for him underneath the uh, yes. evergreen tree. Yep. So Jack climbed down the the rope ladder, and waiting underneath the evergreen tree was Annie. Um. Yeah, that's right. Kishi wa ano hashi no ho e ita wa um asoko ga oshiro no iriguchi mitai yo. So she said the night it went over in the direction of that bridge. Um, over there it looks like it's the entrance of a castle. And cookie, what do you guys think? Hon de shirabete mio, uh mio, um. Kaichu dento o kashte. Um, so, so, hon de shirabe. I think that means the bookmark. Um, close. That's actually, from, um, oh. shiroi or something like that. Something like that. It's not shiroi. That's white. Shirui or something like that. This is shiraberu, which is a verb. It is something you do. Oh, uh, yep. Any guess what it might be? Uh, I remember the kanji means something like a uh, tone or tune or something. It, I, it may be, it's not, it looks similar to that, but shirabedu actually means to do research, to look up. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did this last time. That makes sense. So he says, so, I want to go yeah. research in the book. I want to mm-hmm. read so the book. So it's like looking something up on Google, like we said hi, last time, compared to Kenkyu. Hi, hi. Uh, yep. Yep. And then kaichu dento. Um, so dento. Um, I uh, kaichu I think that dento. Means electric something. It is something electric. It is a flashlight. Yeah, that's right. Kaichu uh, dento uh, or kaish uh, kashte. So I think he looked for the past the flashlight. It specifically is saying lend it to me. Hand me the flashlight. Yeah. So lend. Yeah. So. Because it's nighttime yeah, right now. They're in the magical tree house and he wants to read in the book. So he wants the flashlight. Jack wa oshiru no ho no toi dashi. Kawa no shiori. There's a bookmark. God, it was, I was close. I said like <laughs> shiori. Ga hasan de aru peiji o akete kaichu dento de terashita. Um, so Jack... He takes out the book with the castle on it and he opens up to the page that had the leather bookmark inside of it and he shines the light of the flashlight onto it. And then it is your turn, Cookie. Kishi no e no shita ni ko kaite aru. So that means. Uh, so kishi was something we saw before, definitely. Was it a night? night? It is a night. Yeah. So the night. So the night picture. So underneath the night picture, um, there was some writing. Hi, and that's cool. Yeah. Is what we use for the next thing that's going to happen. So if it's so kaiteru, mm-hmm. that'd be the previous thing. So cool. Yeah, is that's basically right. The next in this context. Just letting you know, because this is I think the first time we've seen cool pop up so it's just saying mm-hmm. this is written in there as referring to this rather than this way if it was sold 
Yeah, that's right. That's pretty、um, cool. In the past, 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 They, for the purpose of training, they were they put on、um, a helmet and like armor and they、mm-hmm. went on a journey and cooking. Yeah. Yoroya, Yoroya, Kabuto, Totemo, Omoku, Kabuto, Dakede, Mo, Ju, Hachi, Kilo, Kilo, Guramu. So I think that means, um, yoroya, so that, um, I forgot what that was, or maybe I never saw it before. You, um, earlier it, it said yoroi kabuto, and over here it said yoroya kabuto. So, um, rather than saying, um, armor and helmet, like as in one、mm-hmm. word, uh, armor and helmet, they decided to say things like their armor and helmet on the next line. So, kabuto is、uh, things like、Mm-mm. something. The ya.、Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kabuto is helmet. Yoroi is like the body armor. Oh, yep.、Yeah. So, the helmet and the body armor are very heavy. And uh, the uh, kabuto means helmet, right? Yes. And then, but the helmet、um, weighs 18 kilograms.、Um, And then, so, hold on,、sure、it's kind of just、again. like about basically. It's saying, it, it, it,、um, it's saying, so right here, this dake is being like basically not. So, the point of the sentence is that they're saying how heavy this is. They, they traveled、mm-hmm. for the purpose of training in their armor. Their armor and helmets were very heavy. Just the helmet on its own was、oh. over like 16, 18 kilograms. kilograms. Is basically what that's yeah, that's、okay. right. Um, and then it's like, mm hmm. Uh, shiro de okonawaru, um, joji no tame ni toku made de kakeru koto mo aru. I don't know what that means. Joji events. So, for the purpose of events that, that, that would occur inside of the castle, they would go all the way over. So they leave the. Okowanadu is to occur though. Inside the sand, events. This is, this is a confusing sentence for me. <laughs> What is it saying? Because it's saying.、Um, I'm gonna get. Tekakeru、oh. is to go out. So they're gonna go out far away、yeah. for the purpose of events inside it that occur inside their castle? The, the logic、um, in this is confusing. No, I'm thinking it's like they they come out from their castle to attend events that are far away.、Mm. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm going to screenshot this and Google it because that is bothering Yeah, we have to do that. Do the Google. Because. Google、What you、lens. said would make logical <laughs> sense, but、um, I, I don't see how the grammar could be used to make that. It's yeah, it doesn't、de. completely add up. Specifically, it's the de. <laughs> like, are, maybe, maybe they don't live inside the castle, and that's what it's insinuating. So they travel from far to the、mm. castle. But I don't know.、Yep. Tekakeru means to leave your house, but ah,、uh, ah,、uh, screaming.、Um, Uh, 18 kg to yeba, Jack ga go sai no koro no taiju da. So, if we're talking about what、um, 18 kg means, well, Jack, he's an eight year old boy, that's about how much he weighs.、Um, and、oh. cookie, what do you guess? Must. Kishita ra wa go sai no kodo. No kodomo a o atama no a sete um 
た、旅のスタイルようなものだったのか。はい。Um, so, so this is Kishi means... Tachi. Yeah, so that means the nights are, are five years, wait,、Hi. five year old kids.、Um, or so, so the thing、I、that's confusing you、me. is that you kind of、mm-hmm. need to start down here. So, yeah, you do.、Um, it's the, the thing that that's no setad is, so this is like a, almost like a metaphor. Remember, so in,、mm-hmm. this, in this over here, it's saying this is how much the helmets they wear. So he's rewording、yeah. this uh, to be like,、uh, so these knights, when they're tabi stedu, which is what do you think that means? Tabi stedu? When they're traveling? Yes, when they're going on a journey. Yeah. They have something no set that. Do you know what that means? No set that. They have, they have it put on their head,、yes. I think. Yep. Atama ni no sita means on top of your head, which is a go, go sai no kodomo. So he's saying, so knights basically have, have a, five-year-old. A, a five-year-old child on their heads as they're traveling.、Um, yeah. And this no mono just saying that's what knights are. So this,、yeah. is, this is basically, I guess, an example of a metaphor right here. Rather than、yeah. saying something like a five year old child, they're just saying they carry a five year old child on their head. That's right. Interestingly enough,、um, when the gun was invented,、mm. this sort of heavy armor was rendered useless. <laughs> yep. Jews are very powerful.、Um, yeah. Jack goa, buku kara noto toridashita. So Jack from his backpack took out his notebook. あ後で詳しく調べた、調べたいことや確かめたいことを書き留めておくのだ。So, um, what, af- once he, um, after he, like, does some amount of, like, research, basically, Kawashi is, like, the, learn it as, like, in detail. <laughs> um, he, the things he wants to do research on, like, the Google or things he wants to test. He's going to prepare by writing it in advance in his notebook. So basically, he's writing like questions inside his notebook because they're over, you know, in the fantasy world. And he wants to basically double check what the book says.、Mm. So、um, it's like, Honto ni、uh, kabuto wa omokata no ka. So that means,、um, how much does the、uh, helmet really weigh? So, where did、well, you get the did word the how much?、Really、where is the word how much in here?、Um, I got it from Hontoni. Ah, so、um, Hontoni like, means how much does it really weigh? So, oh, so there's does, no uh, how does, much、um, in Honto. Honto is just a statement. Okay, so is it like、um, do knights' helmets really weigh that exactly. much? Exactly. Yep, that's what it's、yeah. saying. You added too many words. Because, yeah, Honto yeah. is just really, truly. So, do helmets、yeah. really weigh a lot? Yeah. Honto、mm. ka.、Um, um, Jack wa sarani hon no page yo megutta. So, Jack flips one more page, like, another, like further into through the book. And cookie, what do you guys want to say? おしろせん、おし,おしろせんたいの絵が出ているページを見つけた。So that means、um, the castle and then it's like ゼンタイ。I remember I've, I've seen ゼンタイ before, but I forgot what it was. It's whole self, the whole entirety. Okay, the... yeah, that makes sense. Now I remember. ゼンタイの the entire picture、um, and it's like 出ている Um, so,、mm, how can you have a picture leave the page? So, you're thinking、something. about Dedu like to leave, but that's not really what Dedu means. And it almost never means to leave. Dedu is more like the word appear. Oh, okay. Yep. In almost every context, so, appear can work better than to leave. Yep. So, the entire、um, picture of the castle completely appeared. And there's like page, and then the, it's on the page, and there's like he found it. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the thing he found after he flipped that page was um a picture that um no depicted depicted the entirely the whole castle. So it's not just part of the castle. Whole picture. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Um do -do -do. Um oh yeah, byo shuga sumu tatemono wa takai jo heki de kakomarete iru. So the king and I'm gonna guess this is queen, but I don't know. Ryo yo ryo shu didn't pop up. I'm not sure what that word means, but basically we got king like o sama and then something there. So the rulers, maybe it's lord. Um, in the buildings they lived in, it was surrounded by a, a hum very tall um walls, like those those like really big walls. Yo, yo heki. Yo heki. Okay. Uh, and then oops, yeah, that's right. Castle walls. Um, oh right, yeah. Now I see the kanji. It makes sense. <laughs> hi hi. You even got very kabe very and shiro. Ha. <laughs> If only, if only yeah. we had that kanji, instantaneous, wouldn't even have to hesitate at all. Preferably with the reading. <laughs> so, 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 I would have no idea how to read Shiro yeah. plus Heki. Um, now it's your turn, Cookie. Sure thing, let's see. So no soto ga wa ni kerai no ie ya kyokai ya soko ga ari Sarani sono soto gawa o mohitotsu no jo heki ga tori kako de iru. Okay, um, what is that? So uh, let's start with the end, as you suggested. So, of course, that clearly means surrounded. Um, oh, we got surrounded. Um, but before that, I just wanted I I Google this. Uh, Ryoshu is a feudal lord. Oh, you searched like... it up while I was reading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Nice. Um. So the way how you start with the end of Japanese is actually is like normally you look for commas. So our first oh, ending is actually up here with the ari. So mm -hmm. we have sono sotogawa. You know what sotogawa means? Ah, uh, I know soto means outside, but not gawa. Yep. Gawa means side. So the outside side. The side of the outside. <laughs> okay, so outs <laughs> okay, so the outside side. Um yeah, so oh, outside the... of the tatemono, which is the building, yeah, the building that the feudal lords lived in. We had mm -hmm. the Ie. What does Ie mean with that kanji? House. Yep. That belongs to servants. That's Kerai. Kerai is servants. Kerai, yep. Um, uh, and then there was also a kyokai, which I would assume is like an assembly hall, a church. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Is church. I just saw teaching and meetings, but I guess yeah. churches are always giving you those sermons. And then a soko yeah. is a warehouse, storehouse. That that also makes sense. That is a warehouse. Um, both both the kanji put together makes it seriously a warehouse. Um, mm -hmm. Ari. So Ari means it's it, it's there, it exists yes, in the space. The and then yep, uh Sara ni sono soto ga wa o um the so in the outside side and then Sara ni um what's that? So Sara ni means furthermore. So not only was inside of we have this we have this fancy building surrounded by a big ass warehouses gate and warehouses and church this stuff here. We also have um in the outside. No jo, jo heki. What do you think mohitotsu jo, jo heki means? Okay, so I'm going to if you're asking me this, then I'm going to I'm going to guess hitotsu means uh one person or something. It can mean one um you think about hitori, but hitotsu means one thing. Oh yeah, one thing, even better. Okay. So mo um, is like more. So one more jo heki. One more joheki, and uh, we had that before, didn't yeah. we? You, if um, you saw the kanji, you would recognize it instantly. It's this guy plus Kabe. Hmm. Look, look at the kanji. Oh, that's right, the castle walls. Oh. oh my god, yeah, we did have it before. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, Tori Kakon Dale. 
Um, so, and then it's like totally all of them are surrounded by castle walls. Yep. So, all together, we have um, a fancy building that the rich, that the Lord lives in. And then around that building, we have a wall. And then outside of this wall, we have um, the house of the servant, the house of the church, the food storage area. And then we have another um, giant wall, giant wall going around it. Um, 中世のお城は大家領主の住まいというより戦いの基地のようなものだったらしい So the castles of the Middle Ages, rather than saying that they are the dwellings of a feudal lord or a king, instead, it's more like they are um, a base of operations for fighting, it seems like. Mm-hmm. And cookie, what do you Um, so oh, we saw awatete somewhere. Uh, I think it means oh, like hurriedly, yes, kind of like yeah, being so, in a panic, yeah. So Annie hurriedly said, um, and uh, it was like, ano kishinga, ano, uh, ano kishinga. Uh, so, uh, should I finish off the sentence or like the rest of the dialogue? I think so. Okay. Ah, uh, mienakunachata. Um, so, you saw so... Kuguta earlier during um the Magic Thief when um Khan Kuguta. Uh, through the guard's ude, through the guard's arm. Oh, yeah, so he tried to get, like, under his arm. Yes, so over here is getting under a mon. A gate. Yes. Nice. So now let's actually start with the first sentence. I just want to do that since it's funny when we see the same vocab word. Yeah. So so that night, uh, crossed the bridge, and now he's going into the castle. Or like underneath the gate, sorry. Yes, um, pass through the gate. Ah. And there's like mien naku nachata. So that means I didn't see him or something. Yeah, basically she's saying now I can't see him. Oh, yeah, I can't see I him can't anymore. See him. That's why she's uh, so panicked. Moving panic. pictures. Jack wa hashi no ee ga detteiru page wo sagashite setsume wo yonda. So Jack um finds a page that has the the bridge picture on it, and then mm-hmm. he reads the summation, the the, the explanation. <laughs> um, <laughs> now it's your turn, Cookie. <laughs> uh, Joheki no mawari no hori ni wa mizu ga watte ari mon no mae ni wa um hane bashi na kakateita. Oh, okay. This one's a bit harder for me to realize. So jopeki. Jopeki. That's our um, word of the day. That's the third time we've seen it. And if it you is. saw the kanji, you would know it instantly. Oh, castle walls. <laughs> yes. So castle walls, yep. mawari. What do you think that um, means? Oh my god, is it inside the castle walls or like a third? Not ca- really no, inside. Right. Mawari is more like around. Like almost oh. like so the circumference of the walls in this context. There mm, is a no. hori. What do you think a hori is in this context? A moat. It is a moat. Yep. So then we have Niwa right here, which is I so feel like it's the, the first moat. time. Yep. It just means yeah, in, inside. inside the moat. Yeah, so inside the moat. Uh, and it's also the subject, so it's literally talking about what's in the moat. Okay, so mizunga watte, um, no, mizunga hatte ari. So that means there's the the moat is inside the moat is filled with water or something. Exactly, perfect. That's exactly what it says. Um, mm. and next we're switching to like a new, I guess, subject. 
Yeah, mon no mai ni wa. So that means in front of the gate. Yeah. Um, hanebashi ga kakatte ita. So that means there's a bridge going across it. Um, yes. Specifically, yeah. Um, I think it's a drawbridge. Yeah, drawbridge. Which, which didn't show up when I'm clicking it, but I'm pretty sure that's drawbridge. So there's a drawbridge in that bot- that spans bot- across. Crosses the moat. Yeah. I- um, teki ga kitara hashi o tsuri agete hori o watarenai yo ni kita no de aru. So if an enemy comes, then they will, you know, um, like like a fishing pole. They they'll they'll roll up the the bridge. <laughs> um, and <laughs> in order for them to not be able to cross the moat, so to raise yeah. up his tsuri agete. Uh-huh. And cookie, only guys to know. Whoa, okay. Close. I, wani. Wani, yeah. I went whoa, like how, I forgot this <laughs> katakana. <laughs> wani o kateita toyu setsu mo aru. Um, okay, so. Hori. So, hori, so. From the moat, there's like mm-hmm. um one your cut. What do you there's think? Like, are there, are they like ha- crocodiles? What, what in... can... Yes. Yeah, but where's the crocodile? Is that one? Yes. Oh, they literally put it in katakana. I thought they would have um some would have done differently. But so innards fine. most of the time in Japanese, animal names will be written in katakana unless it's bird. Or dog. Oh, or yeah. cat. <laughs> Anything bigger than the than the top four pets is going to be in katakana. So, so fishes would be kanji, but anything else is going to be uh, katakana. So, giraffes, wolves are fifty fifty. Crabs will be katakana. Things like that. Giraffes. Yeah, giraffes are definitely yeah. katakana. Gorillas would be katakana. A- anything like that. Katakana is more mm. common than the kanji. It does, they do have kanji. Um, mm. but they're not it's not like on like I feel like the kids to do list to learn that kanji. So because of that, mm. it's more common to be written in katakana. Yeah. And then so it's one your kateita. So I'm not sure what ka means here. Oh, um, so this kanji right here, this kao kanji, means to raise, like to have a pet. Um, so um to keep, like specifically for pets and animals. So it's saying that um within the moat they have they have some alligators that are basically it's acting like they're their pets. That's it, that's explanations also. Um yep. Okay, so they raised a crocodile in there and then it's toyu uh setsu mo aru. So uh oh I think the end part means or at least that's what is believed. Yeah. So that's what we've heard, which is interesting. So yeah, it it is believed that they've had crocodiles, which I never knew yeah. that was a thingy. I feel like you can't really like train crocodiles, like they just go wherever they want. In Florida. I mean, once the once your once an invading force falls into the moat, how do you dispose of the bodies? Crocodiles, Bunny. Exactly. Or you can uh, put some. We can make it boiling hot somehow, but so, that'll so. take some infrastructure. So Jack wa noto ni kaita. So Jack writes in his notebook, which is, "Are there crocodiles?" Hmm. Yeah, it says, "Hori ni wa wani ga iru." Are there crocodiles? Are we already in the third chapter? I that's not actually the third chapter. It feels like oh, it right. might be, but the chapter headings are actually bold. So it's a note. Yeah, uh, this is just yeah, a note. These are his notes. The chapter doesn't end until over here with the Oh Hiruma no Ban Sankai. I feel like we've been going through this pretty quickly. Oh, definitely. Um the magic trios is pretty fast. Part of it's also like the length of the chapters tend to be pretty slow. Like 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 mm. not slow fast like like um c- compared to like uh the magic thief, um so it's yep. about time if we wanted to do the switch do we want to do the switch or do we just want to do the half an hour, 
for today? Okay, so here's here's something I'm thinking about. Um, yeah, are you 